I was really excited to do this, to give it a go and be good at it. Because mum always wanted me to do something instead of just staying at home all day. Every day is a struggle for him, on different levels really. I have glaucoma on my eyes. I've also got sturge weather syndrome. And this is a vascular malformation of the blood vessels. He's on the autistic spectrum, which he deals with very, very well. I wanted to do something to get out and enjoy myself. So I said, what can we do, George? He gets cold, his circulation is bad, set of skis, his leg condition, his bleeding, everything is against it, really. This is a challenging environment that tests you. Ready, George? Ready. When we first began turning, George could only go one way. Very hard to go right, easy to go left. But now he's, a, he's an ambi-turner now, so he can go both ways. He can, do, he can go wherever he wants. You know, he likes things, what it says, what it does on the can. That's so important for him. Skiing, he knows exactly what he's got to do. I don't really like loud noises because it really hurts my ears. He can ski with his instructor and it's just the two of them. And also he has his helmet on and everything. So he's quite in his own little world. It's very calm. It's coming on really, really well. Yeah, it we've is. We've had a few, a few close calls, but we figured it out and we're nice and balanced and Yeah, we now. have. Socially, it's given him just so much confidence because now he's a skier. Um, he can ski. I get along with these people and they get along with me. He finds it very difficult to be sometimes part of a team. And though he loves to be around people and he's very sociable, skiing is his rules, it's still him, even though he's got lots of people around him, he has the one-to-one -one with his tutor, and he can control those skis. And I think with his autism, this is something which he feels quite powerful about, and it's something he's in control of. Good skiing. Remember, flexing knees a little bit more, okay? A bit more bending the knees. Oh! <laughs> we'll go this way. He can go on the slopes, and he's the same as everybody else. So when he falls over, not everyone's looking at him. Oh, oh, oh George. Oh, 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 you're right, George. Oh. That's going to be an outtake, isn't it? <laughs> oh. That's all right, it happens. That's going to be an outtake. I'm coming to help you, George. Oh, it's yeah. nice to work with him. You know, we chat a lot, one, we, we learn a lot. We do have a bond together. Mum's going to laugh out loud with that. Yeah, she, she loves it when you fall over, doesn't she? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all right, it's no big deal falling over. I know, it's happened. It just happens in life. George talks straight, says what he thinks. He would expect me to do the same. I've learned, and I'm a lot better at it, but every now and then I might say something like, you're on fire, meaning that he's doing really, really well. Not necessarily mean he's actually on fire. I'm just good when I am on fire, yeah. not as he when I'm on fire. Yeah. <laughs> we talk about Star Wars, yeah. we talk about skiing, obviously. Yeah, seriously. we do talk about skiing. So we also talk about, you know, when's this mystery girl coming to learn yeah. to ski we talk as about well. Potential girlfriends for George and yeah. things like that. That's it. It's just given him so many different avenues. What would you like to do skiing? Well, I've probably helped people to learn skiing as well, but also get famous and maybe one day go to the Olympics or the Paralympics, that sort of thing. Because I want it to be the next challenge, you know, take on the outside world. <laughs> that is awesome, George. That'll be an outtake. I don't know. I don't know, I'd keep it in.